I've got a fresh update regarding Stellar Partners Wire, as yet another firm confirms that Wire is in deep trouble. What they're telling their customers to do is gonna blow your mind. And we have a US bank right now that is in deep trouble due to FTX contagion. This is pre-market news, everyone. You ain't gonna get this anywhere else. Started off with the heat map this morning. XLM sitting at 7.3 down 0.88% last 24 hours. Broader look across the market sees Bitcoin and ETH moving sideways. The market is waiting to see what CPI data has to say. That's happening on January 12th. But first, a few stories to wet your mental whistle until we get to the wire stuff. U.S. judge issues detention order for Mango Markets attacker. Abraham Eisner has been deemed a serious flight risk due to his background and potentially tens of millions in secret wealth. Puerto Rican District Court considers Eisenberg a serious flight risk for multiple reasons. He left the United States for two months after openly stealing $110 million in crypto, 40 Mitches, which is still unaccounted for, and he also has dual citizenship ties to a foreign country and motivation to flee. The document also cited Eisenberg's lengthy period of incarceration if he is found guilty. Gosh, I think most of those things apply to Sam Bankman Fried, and yet he's able to hang out in his parents' house in California. Oh, I'm sorry, not the house, his estate, the parents' estate in California. That's right, everyone, preferential treatment extends to the rich. But first, we're going to get to Silvergate. Silvergate Capital Shares sink as crypto-related deposits plunge. I'm going to share some stats with you, and then we're going to get into the Stellar Partner Wire story. Shares in the company, which lost roughly 88% of their value in 2022, were down 40% in pre Free market trading. That's right, everyone. This news is breaking super fast. I don't know where else you're going to get pre market trading news this early in the day, but you can see it right here. Pre market trading down 39.32% right now. And this all has to do with the FTX contagion. Total deposits from the digital asset customers declined to $3.8 billion in the end of December 2022, that's fourth quarter, compared to $11.9 billion in the third quarter. To maintain liquidity, the bank sold $5.2 billion of debt securities at a loss of $718 million in the fourth quarter. Silvergate was Facebook's original pick for issuing the USD stablecoin. However, the Federal Reserve was like, yo, we're going to tax that ass if you do it. Basically, they shut them down, dealing the final blow to Meta Facebook's crypto plans. Silvergate bought out the software assets and planned to originally launch the currency late last year, but market turmoil following the collapse of FTX has put those plans and has led to a recalibration of the company's expense base. Here's that crypto contagion spread for you. This includes the layoff of 200 staff at a total cost of 12 million in severance payments. And again, remember, we're going to talk about Wire and them not issuing severance payments, all right? So there's a reason I'm bringing this up. And the impairment charge of $196 million related to the buyout of DM, which is Meta's program. But now let's get into the crypto partner of Stellar, that is Wire. Crypto bank Juno urges customers to self-custody after reports of Wire shuttering, all right? So this is someone that uses Wire and they're saying hey to their customers, Yo, take your stuff off, self-custody it, and in fact, wait to hear what they're doing about withdrawals. This is how bad the wire situation is. Crypto firm Juno has increased withdrawal limits and is asking users to self-custody. Juno notes that there is uncertainty around their crypto partner Wired. The industry rumors that, yep, they may be closing their doors soon. In a Twitter thread, Juno noted, we strongly recommended withdrawing crypto assets in self-custody wallet or selling your crypto for cash in your Juno checking account, which is FDIC insured. That's right. They're trying to protect their customers saying, hey, if we have fallout from wire, we want you to be safe. Everyone, this is breaking news as yet another firm out there, a partner of Wire, is confirming these financial problems. Meanwhile, the platform states it's increased its daily crypto withdrawal restrictions by five times for metal users. Juno stated, we have temporarily disabled crypto buys on our platform and auto-converted stable coins, USDC, USDT, MUSDC, and USD in their FDIC insured checking account. Any fees will be reimbursed. And to show you how serious of a problem this is and how fast they want people to protect themselves financially from this contagion now with WIRE, look at the amounts that they have raised for their withdrawals. They went from a daily amount of 40000 to 200000 monthly of 155 to 500 and yearly of a half a million to $1.5 million. Here's the Twitter thread from Juno as a platform doesn't custody crypto assets and relies on our crypto partners for these services. They're talking about Wire. 
Due to the uncertainty with our crypto partner, we have taken preemptive actions in the interest of our com customers. We have temporarily disabled crypto buys on our platform and auto-converted stable coins. Juno's statement follows speculations that its cryptocurrency payments partner, Wire, could be the newest casualty of the FTX crash. In its most recent article, Axios claimed that Wire had informed the staff that they were closing their business. There's a tweet I gotta share with you. However, Jarnos told Axios via email that the platform is still operating but will be scaling back operations. The company reportedly abstained about commenting from the shutdown reports. Here's the problem, all right? And this is a quote from the CEO himself. We will continue to do everything we can, but I want everyone to brace themselves for the fact that we need to unwind business over the next couple of weeks. This then led Juno to do what they did regarding increasing withdrawals to protect their customers because the FTX contagion has spread to wire and they don't want it to affect their customers, so they're raising limits to protect their customers. And this last tweet from Juno is definitely a nail in the coffin because even if Wire is able to get through this, they're losing now yet another person that they can do business with. This is a complete mess, everyone. Here's the tweet right here. As for the next steps, we are working towards restarting crypto buys and deposits as soon as possible, and we plan to transition to a new crypto partner. That's right. So their business partnership with Wire is done. We will continue to build and ship like we always have while deeply being committed to crypto. So we got Silvergate that has FTX fall out, and now we learn that Wire has FTX fallout as well. Oddly enough, Sam Bankman frieds hanging out in his parents' estate in California, while Abraham Eisberg, who was only attacking Mango for $110 million, compared to FTX's, what, $15 billion that they burned, he is not allowed to go out on bail, citing flight risk and the fact that he has money. Hmm, how much money does Sam Bankman fried have? What a joke, everyone. But this story with Wire is ever-evolving, and it does not sound good, as we now have another party out there confirming the issues with wire and their liquidity crunch now remember that story i did earlier about silvergate where they said hey look silvergate had to pay x amount in terms of their severance packages that's because silvergate has the cash to do it even though silvergate is in deep deep trouble they have cash reserves in order to do what's right for the employees and provide them with a severance package the emails that are going out regarding wire are stating that people are going to be laid off if not already laid off and there is no severance package which means there's no free capital there wire is in deep trouble as their partner juno says we're done with you there is way too much risk here in fact we're going to protect our customers so far by increasing withdrawal limits to make sure that the customers are safe because we don't know how far this wire fallout is going to go as more news breaks i'll be sure to share it with you because this story is ever evolving until that time check out this crypto web 3 video right here which is going to give you further information on the stories at hand again thank you very much for watching and the various levels of support for this channel i greatly appreciate it and i am extremely thankful for this. Until then, I'll catch you cool cats later.